My name is Jerry Saltz. I'm the senior art critic for New York Magazine, and welcome to our little tour of The Armory Show. An art fair for the art world is like a combination of a big market, a convention, a gigantic sleepover. It's also a way for art dealers, hopefully, to sell art. So this is the work of Tony Mattelli. It's called Double Meathead. Don't let them see me doing this, but it's made out of bronze. How much is this piece uh, as a diptych? It is 250000 Did you sell it? The first two editions are sold. All right. Hey, and right there, there's a Damien Hirst dot painting. And how much is this one selling for? $500,000. And have they sold this one yet? We have a very strong reserve on it. This is the work of Anish Kapoor. Uh, it kind of combines a kind of spiritualism with minimalism and magic. Is that the ugliest piece of art that could possibly be made in 2009? Sort of metal steel man here. Nah. Well, this is the painting called Benevolence by a younger painter named Benjamin Edwards. At first this painting looks basically like an abstract grid. In some ways that's what it is, but if you look carefully at it, it's a digitalized overview of the street. These are Donald Bacardi's drawings of Christopher Isherwood on his deathbed. Very moving. A lot of people want to know how does the recession affect the art world. It affects it in a big way. The energy is really good people-wise. But are they selling art? Pricings still seem to be where they were two years ago. So this piece is $70,000. Did it sell? Not yet. OK, that's honest of you. This is a bronze sculpture by an artist named Liz Kraft. And I'm going to ask you a personal question now. Uh, how much does it cost? The retail price is $125,000. Anybody buy it? We have sold two of the three, but we didn't sell it here. We had sold them before. All right, don't leave a brother hanging. 